Hi everyone, I am going to be piggybacking off of Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie. She recently released a favorites video and I thought that this is a really good time to do that in case I show you anything that maybe piques your interest and maybe you can get you know a really good Black Friday deal. So I'm going to be talking about stationary items that I've used for a larger part of this year and where I've tried a few different brands and there was like one that kind of stood out to me and just kind of came out on top um, as you know one of my favorites so we'll start off with pens so first of all gel pens forever <laughs> always till the end and the biggest uh, concern for me was to find a gel pen that would work on Tomoe River paper uh, one, more specifically, one that would dry the fastest. And if you've seen any of my earlier videos, I was super diehard fan of the Zebra Sarasa dry pens because they dry like instantaneously on Tomoe River paper. Because um, gel ink and TRP just do not want to be friends. Uh, that ink will just sit on top of that paper and just remain a puddle. So I was so happy to find that the Sarasa dry ink, not only is it like this deep, dark, rich black color, but it just dried so, so fast. And so I used this for a long time. And I found that once I started incorporating watercolor, I was noticing that this is absolutely not waterproof ink. And I was just running into more and more trouble with that. Anytime I found like little water droplets or something, the ink would just bloom and spread out and the word would just completely disappear. And that was not going to fly with me because I do keep records of things that really need to stand the test of time and that I cannot worry about them, uh, you know, getting wet or something like that. So enter my favorite. This is the Uniball Signo RT1 pen. And it's gorgeous. I love, love, love the barrel design of this. It is so sleek and beautiful. And, you know, I just, I love that it's black. And the ink in here is 100% waterproof. It is archival quality. So it's like fade resistant. It's apparently fraud resistant. So it's just, it just checks off all the boxes. So I am so happy with this. It does not dry as fast as the Sarasa dry pens. However, this dries fast enough for my needs. So it's not like I need blotting paper or I need a blow on the ink or anything like that. Um, I basically just have to like watch my knuckles so that I'm not smearing or just like running it over a line that I've just written. And that's it. You know, I can write something and close the book and I don't have any issues with transfer or anything like that. So could not be happier with this. I've stocked up. I've got refills. I basically have one of these for every single setup that I have. And in that same vein, also huge fan for multi-pens, the uh, uni style fit. Although I have not tried any other ones, but since I love Uniball and the Signo ink and everything, I went ahead and just got the uni style fit. And this one is the, it holds the three, the three barrel. Is it three barrel or three ink? Well, you could put three refills in there. I only have two and they're both black. And I don't know if you could see that, but I have one in 0.38 and one in 0.5. So I keep this because I need two different nib sizes for this setup. And that is because I have a Jibun Techo and it has this really small, it's like a Hobonichi, um, the 3.7 millimeter grid. And I like writing with the 0.38 nib size on this grid. And then I have the just regular Molsky notebooks and they come with this five millimeter grid. 
and I like writing with a 0.5 nib on this size grid. So I love having this multi pen because I can keep both nib sizes in here and just have one pen to go with this setup. So I thought I was so clever when I discovered that. So this, this is one of the setups that I have that's really, really important for it to last because this is basically going to be kind of a medical reference book. So I have to make sure that nothing will happen to anything that's written in here. So I'm really glad to have this ink. Um, and just FYI, if you're curious, this is a Chic Sparrow. It's the Outlander leather in the color Claire. It is the wide size and it is a deluxe. And this has a W brand on it because it was part of the beautiful branding collection. So since we're on pens, the only other thing I have a favorite for are brush pens and brush markers. So as far as hand lettering goes, my favorite way to do it is to just use my gel pen and I will use this and bolden up the downstrokes. So I kind of cheat and do my lettering that way. But sometimes I do use a brush pen and I haven't tried a whole, whole lot because I hate lettering with a brush pen except for this one. I don't know what it is about this, but it's the Pentel Sign Pen. And I got this at Target and it came with like all of the, all of the colors, but I just use black. Black is my favorite. My kids have all the other colors, but I don't know what it is about this, like I said, um, but I always think I'm bad at brush lettering with a brush pen and until I use this one. When I use any of these other ones, it's like a hot mess. And I'm like, oh, I, I obviously need more practice. Um, so, you know, these are the Tombow Fudnosuke uh, pens. You know, I've got the soft tip and the hard tip. You know, I see people use these all the time. They're really popular. My handwriting is so jacked when I write with these. And then, you know, I've got the regular uh, dual, duo, what is it? Dual brush pen. You know, these are pretty popular too. Um, this is just way too big and floppy. Um, I just never have any luck with that. Um, after the Pentel sign pen, a close second are the Crayola super tips, even though they're just a marker. They're not, you know, a brush pen or anything, but I can get uh, good lettering out of this as well. Um, but as far as, you know, all of these that I've tried, um, I would definitely give the prize to the Pentel sign pen. Couldn't tell you why, because this nib looks really similar to these Tombows, but it just works better for me. And then where I keep all of these writing utensils, um, I have a video of the pen pouches that I've tried, and I will link that above and in the description as well. But I tried the Lahit Lab, you know, book style pouch, which I love, but it was just kind of too small for me. And then I tried the Home Cube, um, which is kind of the same layout. And what came out on top was this Delphonics Medium Utility Pouch. And I was kind of for a couple months there, I was just kind of, you know, I bought this and then the next month I bought the home cube. And then, you know, like the month after that, I finally got my hands on this. And then that was it. I quit buying because this has worked out ever since I got it. Um, it's, it's just such a great size. It has so many different compartments. Look at my cool new scissors. Aren't they fancy? Um, but I just adore this pouch. Um, I love all of the compartments. I love this zipper that glides like butter. Um, this keeps all of my goodies with room to spare. And yeah, you can check out my <laughs> other video about, you know, everything that I keep in this pen pouch. But yeah, as soon as I got this, my search kind of stopped and I've been really, really happy ever since. And this is another 
popular brand and pouch that I see a lot of people have. And I think, you know, it's worth the hype. It's popular for very good reason. So as far as notebooks go, I, I, th I think I'm just going to say it's basically anything that has Tomoe River paper in it. TRP is my favorite. Um, and it was a hard one for me to love. When I first got it and I initially wrote in it, it was like hate. I hated it so much and it's just so different. And I kept at it and it actually didn't take me very long to appreciate the very unique qualities about this paper. So first of all, 52 GSM forever. I do not do the 68. I had an entire notebook, which I did fill up, and it was the 68 GSM. And I just think the thinness and like the crinkliness of the 52 is just something that should be appreciated. So I definitely appreciate it. And so that is my preference. And then also dot grid dot grid always forever um i don't do blank because i cannot write a straight line to save my life and if it's not written in a straight line it bothers me i can't do full grid because it looks too busy to my eye and then lined paper is hate hate to death hate lined paper so so happy that you know I discovered dot grid earlier this year um, these inserts are from paper penguin co on Etsy and she is gonna have a really good Black Friday sale so I'm thinking I'm gonna stock up I do have um, where is it so I have a Taroko Shop Enigma notebook, which I cut down to standard size, and it's TRP with a dot grid, and I love how faint this dot grid is actually compared to the one I got from Paper Penguin Co. Um, but it's the 68 GSM, so it's considerably thicker. Not my favorite, so I was waiting for a uh, Nanami Seven Cs, whatever dot grid's going to be released in that um, in December, but I'm thinking I'm just going to maybe pass on the Nanami and just stock up on the Paper Penguin Co. ones. But anyway, um, I so it took me a while to love this, and the reason is because, especially with a gel pen. It's just like glides so fast. There's no tooth to it. And I've just been so used to having a kind of drag on my pen. And I was I found out that I was really dependent on that drag and that toothiness of the paper to make my handwriting pretty to me. And when I started writing on this, I just found that my handwriting was just god awful. And I hated that. But I have, with practice, I have found, you know, how to straighten out my handwriting and make it um, how I like it again. And then what I appreciate is that because this paper is so incredibly smooth and the glide is so amazing with my gel pen that I don't have hand fatigue like I used to experience with just, you know, regular paper. Um, so I find that I can write for longer periods of time and that it's just so much easy. And so anyway, I've just really come to appreciate the TRP. So it's my favorite. Um, and yeah, so I'm probably going to be stocking up on that. And since we're talking about the TRP, I will talk about my favorite planner. And this is one that I haven't experimented with different brands or anything um but it is the hobonichi weeks which contains the trp and basically with this i got this in march of this year and i was bullet journaling before this but as soon as i got my weeks i never looked back 
it was kind of like, uh, you know, this pouch. Once I got this, it just clicked and that was it. I was set and done. I wasn't craving anything else. I wasn't like drooling or pining over other things. Um, no FOMO or anything. Um, and when I got this, that was it. I've been in it all year. I haven't like covered anything, so I can't really like flip through this at all, but I've not skipped using it at all. I've used it straight on through and I will continue through December. Since this was the spring start, I just want to get full use out of it. But I have been so incredibly happy in this. And, you know, as far as inserts go, this is a standard size insert, just standard Midori size, regular traveler's notebook size. And this is my favorite size of all time. And I generally have a thing for really narrow cut books that are really tall. So like the new, or well, what was it? The fall release, the field notes, their end notes or end papers. That edition was a tall, slim cut book. And so I totally loved it. And obviously, Hobonichi Weeks is cut in that same way. So it's tall, slim. So that is an immediate attraction to me anyway. So I've got my weeks for next year because it was like a no-brainer. Once the 2019 Hobonichis were released, I just immediately bought this one. This is the mm, Yama, Yama Zakura. It's the, uh, I don't know, the uh, botanical drawing. And once I saw this, I just went ahead and bought it. I, I didn't care about getting any other planners because I love this so much and I'm so happy I do. So I've put stickers on it. I'll show you real quick because I just love how it's setting up. Um, this is a printable from Z Darling and it's like a coloring page printable that I got. And then these stickers are washi stickers from our atelier. And that's where these are from as well. And this washi tape, our atelier as well. And so I am so excited to start this next year. And also washi stickers are a new favorite. We'll see if that stands the test of time, but I'm pretty sure it will because they are just awesome. I don't really care for washi tapes, but washi stickers are kind of my jam right now. So anyway, could not be happier with the Hobonichi Weeks. Absolutely love it and totally excited to get into it again for next year and have this nice, crisp, fresh new book to crack open. And I guess the last thing I'll mention um, is my favorite leather. Uh, as far as folios and traveler's notebooks go, I've got a lot of them. I have plenty of collection videos and unboxings and yada yada on my channel. Um, but I have dabbled in many, many different kinds of leathers thus far. So I feel like I can say with pretty good confidence what my favorite is. And if I had to pick one type of leather, I am going for oil tanned. Oil tanned all the way. And as far as colors go, I love anything in the brown family. And I think that's kind of where I'm headed for all of my purchases recently and then in the future. I just love the natural brown color. I love any kind of natural variations that occur in this color and, you know, the different shades of this color. So oil tanned takes the crown for my favorite type of leather. And I love everything about it. I love pull up. I love the pliability of it. Some can come in a more like structured feel, you know, I guess a medium hand. I don't know if that's the right terminology to use, but um, love that as well. Um, and then close second is 
Maverick, which is very specific. So this is a Chic Sparrow Maverick. This is a weekly calendar cover in the golden brown color. I know the dark brown was just released, but I have no compulsion to get that at all. Um, even Maverick was available in black in the past, but I had absolutely no attraction to that either. So like it's oil tanned in general across, you know, all brands and across the board, but specifically for a stiff vegetable tanned leather, only the Maverick from Chic Sparrow in the golden brown. But yeah, so that these preferences are going to kind of dictate my future purchases. I, I'm pretty happy with where I am and I'm pretty set and I'm just kind of excited to dig in to what I've got. But that is it for me. Those are the things that I am comfortable right now talking about because um, I've had the most experience with all these things that I've mentioned. Let me know what your favorites are. Drop them in the comments. Let me know what your uh, planning on shopping for for Black Friday. I just think that's Black Friday and this weekend and into Cyber Monday is just such a great opportunity to get such great deals um, and to stock up for the next year, like for inserts from Paper Penguin Co. I'm excited about that, but I will see you all in the comments. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.